Well, hi guys. Uh, back out and about again. And I've got Dig Cop on to Wellingborough today. So it's a Sunday, Dig Cop Wellingborough. Normality seems to have resumed. Although I am starting later than usual, 13.45, because they've changed the start, they've changed the run time round. So, yeah, quite useful. But uh, today, I'm actually, I'm kind of time trialling it really. I'm trying to knock it out as quick as possible. So I won't be stopping in Sherwell Valley, I won't be having grass. So just life. The reason being is, this is my sixth day. And I've got two off after this. And because I'm starting later, I saw him wanting to change and he was divvying about, divvying about, divvying about, so I thought I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just pay slightly more attention to him just in case. Um, yeah, I, because I'm starting slightly later, I'd like to maximise my time off. So I'm doing 56 today, which is why all of a sudden I'm overtaking people. Don't usually see that from me, do you? No. What's he doing? Bloody overtaking! Bloody shower! <laughs> but, um, yes. I shall be cranking today out. See what I can achieve, because I've got quite a bit to do tomorrow. Put it this way, the front garden, we haven't touched all year. So, yeah, there's a bit of work to do there. But the thing is, as you guys know, my other half has got a new job. That'd be jabbling. And she gave in her four week notice, which as far as she could work out, and as far as one of the managers could work out, meant her last day was the 8th. just long enough, because he's a bit like this, has waited just long enough so that she's had enough time to tell her new employer that she'll be starting on Sunday night. And he sent her an email saying, right, yes, I've accepted your resignation, although your last day is the 15th for a full four weeks. Failure to comply with this will result in docked wages. Basically, he's going to dock her one week's worth of wages for every year she's worked with him. That's seven years. If she leaves before the 15th. So, of course, we've got to go flying off to where she's going to be working. She's been panicking for the last few days. And let them know about what's going on. So we've got that to deal with, first of all. Now, to be fair, she's should be fine because they really are excited to have her on the team she wants to go up through management she's already supervisor where she worked so they're just going to train her on everything give her a probationary period i believe it's 13 weeks so she's going to be on really basic wages just whilst they test to make sure she is actually competent you can understand that big companies do tend to do that let's be fair uh, probationary period and then they're going to start training her on training her on all the bits and bobs that go on, so from the cash handling and customer facing all the way around to the receiving of goods, goods in. So once she's trained on that then they're going to start looking at you know supervisory and then management and yada 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 and so on and so forth. So she's kind of okay with the job, it's just she's nervous because she's got to tell her that she can't start that day and this and that and so on and so forth. So we've got that to deal with. Then we've got to go back to the front garden and everything else. So I thought, well, today I'm just going to hit 56 and I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to stay, I'm going to try and be as economical as I can. Although at the moment I'm only doing 7.3 miles a gallon. So it should be fun to see what I end up with. That's the reason I'm going fast. And the reason I appear to be catching trucks that would normally be going trunk, trunk, trunk. 
wonderful, 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 wonderful. I'm also going to hopefully, finally, get the airline Susie's done correctly the way I want to get it done for that shop later on. Because if I'm going to be cutting out the Sherwell Valley stop, I'll be taking my break at Wellingborough. Now during my break, I can do whatever the hell I want as long as it's not work related. Well, doing stuff on camera is not work related, so I can get around with it. Because I won't actually be looking up, I'll just be telling you what the lines are and all that kind of stuff. I might actually, to be, ah, to be fair, that's actually a good point. Yeah, no, I won't do that. Ah, bingo, I've had a brainwave. I'll do roughly what I did in my old one. It wasn't that great. I'll set the camera up and I'll hook up. Yeah, that'll be better. Because then I can tell you what the lines are and put them on. Yeah. Ah, you see. I do have a brain cell. <laughs> so I'll probably do that actually. Have you, have you thought about it? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Because at the end of the day, I might as well just set a camera up and then just hook up you know that way at least it gets it done so hopefully it won't be raining so I can actually do that although the way my luck's been going recently there's probably some people sitting at home going Daniel, why is it when you change lanes you do that both ways I can see him in that one but I still do that it's just kind of automatic you know sometimes it'll just be that that's why. Obviously I can't do it over that side, otherwise you'd have to see me get, take my seatbelt off, do that, stand over there, and then sue Mercedes because cruise control didn't actually drive it itself. Now anybody gets that reference, well done. Yeah. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We shall be cracking on today. Now, I've got three potential routes I could use. This is a little tip for you guys. Say you've been on the road for six days. This is your sixth day. Maybe you go home, maybe you live on the road, I don't know. But say this is your sixth day and you want to crank it out so you can get home, have a couple off and then go back. Well, you've got your run and you're doing what I'm doing. 56, let's just get it done. Not gonna break any laws, but we're gonna get it done. Having said that, if you know anybody with a 77 Pontiac Firebird that can run interference between you and the police, you're up to good. Now, yes, <clears throat> be serious. Work out alternate routes to where you're going. Now where I'm off to is Digcom. Now I'm on the M25. So I could go the M40 to the A40 and then the ring road, I think it's 41 for the ring road whatever round Oxford I can't remember the number off the top of your head or I could go M40 all the way up to the A34 and down that way then I could go the usual way which is the M25 onto the M4 and up the M4 to the A34 and that way so it kind of gives me a big loop and comes back on me so now the ring road round Oxford route is usually quicker shorter distance. However, I know there's roadworks going on and it's a Sunday. So that one, crossing off the list. Because you're just going to be stuck. Going up the M40 to the 34 is an alternative. It adds 10 miles to the overall journey. Well, actually it adds a bit more than that. That's 20 miles. 15 to 20 miles to the overall journey avoiding the ring road. The M4 way, I get to the 34 closer to Digcom. So it works out roughly the same kind of time as going the M40 to the 34, avoiding lots of ring road. So if the M25 is Knackered, I will go up the M4 to the 34. If the M25 is fine, I will go around it to the M4 and up the 34. So, if it's knackered, M40, 
A34. Because I have a feeling I said that wrong. Um, and if the M25 is free flowing, M4, A34. my plan. We shall see what goes. Saying that he'd just done his class one. 
about to start work, and it all started with my plug. So that's quite nice to know. So well done. And I will make reference to your name when I get to my destination. I've completely forgotten it. <laughs> but it's just odd for me to hear things like that because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, have I really been going long enough for somebody to be able to do that? track of time when you do this because I, I try to do daily uploads I, I, I really do but certain things do occur sometimes like a, a false update on my laptop or I upload a video badly edited <laughs> or I just I just don't have time I mean I'm trying to do the little shorter ones I've got some material left for like filler vlogs and stuff which I can edit together on my couple of days off and then they're in emergency. If I don't have time, I just turn my laptop on and start uploading, and jobs are good. But I do try to do daily vlogs, and time just flies. I don't realise I've done as many as I have, and that people can actually now officially say they started driving after my vlog started, and you know they, they started doing the HGVs after my vlog started because they now know what agency life can be like and things like that. And they've gone through their HGVs, they've done their class two, they've done their class one, and I've been going long enough for that to have actually happen. I'm like, ooh, ooh, really? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, time does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? This is a man sitting on his arse driving a large truck. See, si, see, si, I drive the coach. Yes, I'm transporting sweeties. I've got sweeties on me. I've got sweeties on me. Ooh. Got loads and loads and loads of sweeties. Obviously, I can't tell you who's manufactured them because that would be telling you a supplier, and I can't do that. But I've got sweeties. Thirty ton. Well, to be fair, that that's what I weigh. I'm thirty-one five fifty. Yeah, 30, thirty-one five fifty. It's all sweeties. Uh, it's on a fridge box as well. You see what I mean? Here comes the rain. You can probably hear it in the background drowning me out. Uh, I suppose <coughs> I should just turn my side lights on. Be nice, be polite, because you never know how heavy it's going to get. And seeing as it is getting quite heavy, and you can no doubt hear it because the microphone's right next to the windshield, I shall shut up and I shall see you at Dickcock with that person's name that I've completely forgotten. Well, that's us at Digcot. I've done one hour 57 minutes of driving and it's 10 to five. I started at 13.45, so I should have enough time to just gun it all the way to Wellingborough as long as I don't get held up. So I won't be having my Greggs. But anyway, never mind. Um, the look on that Stoby guy's face, oh that was genius, I just tweeted about it, um, but I'll, I'll tell you for those who don't have Twitter. At this place, when you go around the back, and there's been a few vlogs where I've gone around the back before now, basically you, you're hard pressed to be able, to, well you can't normal side, you have to blind side. Well they, two of their docks aren't working and they happen to be the two furthest away from the building. So, you got 28 and 29. Well, the Stoby guy has politely put himself on 29 because it was obviously easier for him to get onto that one. So he's left 28, which leaves me with a blind side around the building in between his truck and, the, and everything else. And I was just sitting there thinking, oh bollocks to it. So I drove in, drove down alongside him into Bay 30 because there's quite a bit of space in between the bays, to be fair. It's not tight. There's, there's quite a large amount of space. And then I just 180'd it all the way around the front of his wagon. And he's standing there just staring at me doing it. You know, he's just watching my wheels, watching me. And he's watching his wagon. And I just 180 it straight onto the dock. Perfectly fine. I mean, loads of room. Way enough room. It's not a tight manoeuvre. And I just, as he's staring at me, and he's staring at what I'm doing, I just felt like yelling out the window, yeah, some of us can drive, mate. 
because it is so bloody obvious. There is that much room around there. Just 180 around him. Saves the blind side, doesn't it? But anyway, there we go. I shall now go find this trailer and crack on to Wellimra. I shall most likely see, ah, oh, yes. That's what I was gonna do, wasn't it? I was going to find that person's name because I've completely forgotten who it was. And, hmm, had quite a few, ah, uh -huh. I think this is the one. Nope, <laughs> wrong one. should be in here somewhere. You know what? I'm going to find it and edit this part out. Oh, there we go. Found it. Hi, Bill. This is Jason Baker. He's added an extra channel, Jay's Trucking. Um, he's set up his limited company and he starts his first night's work on Class 1 on Tuesday. Um, other than the company he's working for, it was all from the the advice from your YouTube, so thank you. There you go. Now I've paraphrased that, there's a lot more, but I paraphrased it. But there you go. So that's a little shout out to Jason Baker, um, Jay's Trucking. I believe that's his um, channel. So you can all go and have a shifty, go and bugger off and have a shifty. But there we go. Anyway. I'm going to go find this bl blasted trailer and crack on. Oh well, here we come leaving the M40 Junction 10. <sighs> I won't be stopping in Sherwell today. I won't be having me Greg's. I'm doing a non stopper all the way to Wellington. Feel like a bloody train driver. This is the uh, 1345 non stop to Wellimer. Oh dear. Oh well. Nice and fun, nice and fun. discovered there's a second lane. It's been right up behind me the entire time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's all dual carriageway. Going around that bend, oh, I'll just go in that lane and go for it. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. To each their own. To each their own. Yeah, I'm, making, I'm not making too much bad a time. Somebody in a 15-plate Volvo broken down on the end of the uh, A34 just before going on to the folding and 
that was caused a bit of carnage. Near side lane, hadn't even bothered trying to get the car across. You know, there's that thing, if, if you're, if you're going to break down in your motor vehicle, you know, you've got your warning lights coming on the dash, it's making funny sounds, it's, oh, it's dying, it's dying, it's dying. If it's an automatic, bang it into neutral, put your hazards on, roll as far over to the near side as you can. I mean, right across the line, as close as you can get. If it's a manual, again, dump the clutch, roll it across. If, however, in the unlikely event, you're driving it, perfect lane discipline, and all of a sudden it just goes, no warning, no nothing, no whatever, and you're not one of those morons who ran it out of petrol or diesel, then, in that unlikely event, if it's a manual, into first gear, cut off the clutch, and use your starter motor to move you out of the way. I mean, it's broken. The car's knackered. It's a 15 plate, therefore it's still under warranty. Just say, instead of causing bleeding carnage, sitting smack bang in the lane, not even caring. Well, that's uh, well in Rolo done. Had me break. I managed, I got it right. I did some airlines. I did the old Susie's. So I did it reasonably well, but my only worry is that the angle I was at, because I can't really do it the other way, otherwise I could end up going solid off the exhaust and hurt myself. Uh, the only thing I was dubious about was the position of the sun. It could have mullered it, it could have knackered it because it was just at the wrong point. But, oh well, I shall see how it comes out. But I've managed to get that done. Uh, I'm just going back now, it's 8.30 in the evening, 20.30. So get back, it's about an hour and a half to you, back to base. Uh, I should be back. Finished at a reasonable time. Get home every two days off, deal with all that stuff. I'll spend some time organising my channel. So there are going to be a shed ton of videos that either go private, unlisted, or uh, otherwise get removed. So they're going to up vanish. I'm going to create a new intro for the tips and tricks. It's not going to be anything fancy. I, I was thinking about doing something major, but it'll probably just be uh, a black background with some white writing. I, I, I don't know. Um, but I don't want anything too immense because I want to try and keep everything under three minutes. So I can't really have a long intro if I want to keep everything under three minutes. So it'll probably be just be some black insert card with some bright white white writing on it, and then I'll that'll do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, you've got to rub the other half about, then do the front guard, and then the rest of the time I am literally just going to be going through my videos and editing vlogs and that kind of stuff. That, that's going to take a day on its own. I've got to go to the account as well. I mustn't forget that. I've got to go to the account. So I'll probably throw that in Tuesday first thing and then come back and that'll be my day. So I won't do any day off logs because I'm just going to be creating loads of bits and bobs. And I should have quite a nice backlog to start unloading. My terabyte external hard drive is now full. So I'm going to have to order another one. Because I've done that much material. <laughs> I've got about 100 gig free on my laptop. My other laptop's still knackered. <laughs> so that's a terabyte laptop, so I could start transferring stuff to that if I can get it up and running again. But we shall see, we shall see. Anyway, I suppose I should shut up and end my day. So thanks for watching, 
like, subscribe, share about, do whatever it is you usually do. I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be Wednesday. But I've got quite a large amount of stuff to put up between now and then and carry on from there. So I might split my channels. You know, like um, Achievement Hunter, Rooster Team, Achievement Hunter, Fun House, and all the other bits and bobs. They've got uh, Let's Play, Achievement Hunter, and various other bits and bobs. They've got various little channels within uh, Rooster Team as a whole. I might see if I can do something like that. Do a tips and tricks, trucker build tips and tricks, and then trucker build vlogs. So I might see if I can do something like that. I don't know if you have to have X amount of videos, I don't know what it entails, so I'll look into that. Um, but like I said, cheers for watching, like, subscribe, share, share about all the wisdom spells, and yes, I shall see you later.